Welcome to Dupo Remo. Okay, starting again. Welcome back. We were talking about Scott Westerfeld's uglies. Sort and of. this girl, Tally, just longs to be pretty. And she finds so many faults and flaws in herself. And, and to entertain her, she has a computer program showing various possible perfect versions of herself or pretty versions of herself. And, and I guess it's, you know, something that she, that she'll plug in her picture and stare at it and say, Oh, I like this. And Oh, what if I looked like this? And Oh, what if my hair did this and that? And the, the other girl, Shay is just like, don't waste your time on that. Don't do this. You're fine. You know, don't call yourself an ugly. And the future that Westerfeld has created for this world is really, really interesting. And they look back at our time of the modern age when we were so wasteful and so self-destructive and so warlike and primitive. And they call us the rusties because we built things out of metal and the, the remnants of our civilization is still out there gathering rust. And from a very young age, they're taught about how we were, how savage and foolish and backward we were. And their future, their world, their society is so much better than ours. And I, I, I think, I don't know because we don't have him in the room, but I think he went above and beyond the criticism of our world so that we would look for the flaws in their world so that we'd be like, oh, you guys don't have it better than us. You guys, you don't even know how the world works. None of you ever leave Ugly Town and, and then Prettyville and, and the pretties are empty headed bimbos and stuff. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We become defensive. I, and, and maybe I'm wrong, but that's how I felt. And I felt like it was written in a sharp enough satire mm -hmm. that it was intended to be that way. Let me stop and ask you if, if everything I've said you agree with up to this point or if you felt differently. Yeah, I think so. And the funny thing is there are still lots that you have to agree with. You know what I mean? You hear them say things and you're like, oh, yeah, I guess that. But, oh, but you don't have this. Come on. Kind of a thing. They talk about how we would cut down trees and burn them just to keep our machines going and things like that. You know, <laughs> the fossil fuels, we used them all up. And, that, and these are, are valid points. But they're taught a very specific right. version of history with an agenda. There's a point where somebody who wasn't taught in the school mentions a, you know, other things like, oh, yeah, it's it's an old windmill. And just, windmills? Yeah, Rusty's had windmill. And they're, what? You know, they've never heard that there were any people that tried to do anything the right way. They've only been taught about the problems from the past. So you see that it's not a complete education. We talked a little bit about a utopian future in the rain episode. And I think you brought up the uglies mm -hmm. world as an example. And I, at that point, I hadn't even started the book. The problem was, I see, I was going to the library and the first book was always gone. <laughs> so you could get specials or you could get extras or you could, I think one time I, I got pretties and I looked on the back and it said the sequel to uglies. And I was like, oh, so I put it back because I wanted to start at the very beginning or maybe you had told me to start at the very beginning. Yeah, that's and, always helpful. And for once I did as you suggested, you know, I, I didn't think for myself and say, I, I can watch disc two of Godfather part three first. Okay. <laughs> I, that's a bad example. And I have no idea why I watched disc two first, <laughs> but as the days lead up to Tally and Shay's 16th birthday, Shay starts to try and sway Tally away from it, from going and getting this procedure done. And she's like, we're friends and we've hit it off. You know, listen to me. There's, there are other options. You don't have to do this. You've been told that you have to do this, but you don't. And you can think for yourself and you can be yourself and have pride in who you are. And Tally completely rejects that. She toes the party line and she's like, I can't wait to be pretty and you're going to be pretty next to us and we're going to be so beautiful and popular and people will like us and we'll look back at who we are today and we'll throw up because we're so gross and, and all that. And now I'm using current terminology. I don't think they use the word gross. Yeah, they actually said grody. Indeed they did. <laughs> And they said, we'll throw up because we were so grody to the max. It will be like, gag yeah, me with, with a spoon. spoon. We were so grody. And yes, this future dialect is awesome that he's created for them. And so finally, well, the future dialect is rad. Indeed it is <laughs> to the max. Tally won't listen 
and she won't think for herself. And all she can do is long to be pretty. And see, I had no idea where the story was going because it's not been made into a movie and I'd never spoken to anybody except you who had seen it. And you kept your mouth shut except for the voice that the narrator chooses to do. (laughs) But I started to think, and I don't know how much I want to spoil because this is still the very beginning of the book that I'm talking about. All this ugly town stuff is early, early on, right? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Say it's the first third, probably. Oh, it's okay. I see. It's hard to say on an audio book how far into it you are because right. yeah you don't have a book to look at with a thickness and say oh i'm almost done right although when you get to that last disc you can kind of go oh i'm almost done anyhow uh, they had established these pretties as being self-centered douches i thought mm-hmm. what little we saw it upset me and i was telling you when i very first started the book that somebody sees tally from like 600 yards away and they're like ew ugly and i was just yards. like come on man you couldn't tell if it's a cow or a horse that far away how dare you <laughs> and, and so i was just you like had a telescope is <laughs> Okay, 500 yards all right <laughs> and so i was just like you know you don't want to be one of those people you know kind of thing and it, i started to resent tally I started to not like Tally as a character. I started to think, I'm better than this. I wouldn't do all that stuff. Come on, think for yourself. Be yourself. Have a little pride in yourself, goddammit. Mm hmm. But. Be continued next time. <laughs> all right. That gets my goat, or whatever this is ultimately called, is produced under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives license. Very sad.